So I came up with a solution that I think um, it, it's not ideal. Ideal would be if Adobe had some kind of pie chart creating tool. Um, maybe it's a learning interaction, not sure. But in the interest of just getting a solution done, I thought, well, you know, you can edit uh, smart shapes up to a certain degree. So if you were to select the polygon tool uh, from your, your shapes drop down icon in the toolbar and draw out triangles instead of slices of pie, you can hold down the shift key to ensure that they remain as straight as possible. I don't know if you can quite see this, but I'm basically drawing a piece of pie that's roughly in the shape of what I'm trying to draw here. There we go. So there's our first piece. And if you click on the object, now of course obviously I don't have the rounded edge. Um, what you can do is I'm essentially I'm tracing something that I've maybe done in PowerPoint or whatever, but it, we know it's not going to look good. So what I'm going to do is create as close to that design as possible. So I'm going to edit the points. Now if I click on one of these corner pieces here, you'll see that there's these slight green lines with red dots, red selection handles at the end. If you select one of the outer ones, you can begin to form this former triangle into a shape that's pretty close to what you're trying to accomplish here. And it may take a little bit of finesse, as is the case here. But eventually you should be able to select a curve that is very close, if not close enough to the object that you're trying to create. So there's one of the corner pieces there. And let's just make that a little darker so it stands out. Now let's try and do the same thing for the remaining shape here. And again, we'll just select this. The advantage of these now newly formed smart shapes is that, and I'm just going to create sort of a polygon that I'll then work with later. Right. The advantage of this, is, of course, is that as I increase it or decrease it in size, it's like a, uh, a vector graphic in that uh, you should be able to not have any discernible problems. So again, we can just start to round this from these different points there to make sure that it is this a perfect solution? No, because I'm pretty sure these aren't aren't becoming perfect curves or perfect circles at this point. But is it better than some kind of rasterized bitmap that's going to look crappy on different screen sizes? Well, maybe it is. Let's take a look at what the finished results look like here. Again, it's not perfect, but you know, and obviously if I had more time, I could probably finesse this even a bit further to make it even better. So, yeah, not perfect, but get rid of the original. And now you've got something that's you know, and again, like I said, I've done this in a couple of minutes. So you would spend some time 
um, creating a much better curve, maybe especially on that outside one. Um, you know, in the end result, hopefully, is something that is more suitable towards your uh, your look and feel that you're going for there.